Can you believe it's March already? As you know, if you've been following along, I am sticking to my simple black and white leaf-based, well, leaf-themed uh, cover pages. So every month I pick a leaf and or a plant, and I pick the shamrocks, so I know it's a little bit cliche, but honestly I love drawing shamrocks and they're super easy, and if you know anything about me, it has to be an easy plant or flower to draw because of time. So just uh, do what I do, draw those skinny little lines for the stem, and uh, you can see the march I did in faux calligraphy. I'm using the Kelly Creates Fine Liner in 05 for all of the drawing, and then I'll add some details later with my double uh, zero five pen. The grass I'm not completely happy with. Usually I do more dimensional grass, but then um, I realize that drawing the grass isn't a good idea. So you can see me going faster and flicking my pen from the bottom upwards and that is super helpful. Now I'm going back into the shamrocks and I am adding a few more fine detailed lines just to give it more in, the more interest because I'm not coloring them with my 005 uh, Kelly Creates Fine Liner. And this fine liner, let me tell you, it is so fine. And I also use it to draw my little mini calendar, my month at a glance, because I can get those numbers super tiny. And you know what? I'm actually not the type of person who writes super tiny, so this fine liner really helps. Uh, when we go to the left hand side, I, uh, you know, I know I'm supposed to keep it simple, but I decided to add a door because in the theme of March with the shamrocks and the Irish, um, idea of Irish and St. Patrick's Day, I know I'm definitely a Hallmark type of holiday person, um, I decided to create a door to um, add to my theme of the uh, Irish blessing that I write. So the door is simply an arched door like that. I added a little bit of window detail at the top. You can see how easy it is to draw the bit bricks with a few horizontal and vertical lines. I did sketch it out with pencil first. That's really helpful. But remember, if you're sketching in your creative journal to plan your cover pages, make sure you are uh, using a very light touch on that pencil so you can erase. I wanted to carry over the shamrocks to this side and you know at first I thought of putting them down on the ground like most people would but then I decided to change my mind. I don't know why but I decided to put them at the top of that door and then I'm just adding a few more detailed lines again with that 005, uh, 005 fine liner. When I am drawing the um, Quote, I am using my Kelly Crates black fine tip brush pen. Now, I get a lot of questions about this fine tip black brush pen. It's a beautiful pen um, and you can find it in two places. So it's sold in the three pack of the small fine, sorry, the fine, medium and large tip pens. So that you get three black pens and the price point's amazing. These three pens, including this fine tip, or well, actually there's three places, is also sold in my deluxe lettering kit. And the third place is, it is a small brush tip pen, so you will find it in the set of Kelly Crate's multicolor small brush pens. So there you have, my door is complete. I added that door handle, not sure I'm in love with it. And then I thought, well, I'll carry over the grass as well at the bottom of the door just to make it more unified and harmonious with the right cover page, uh, sorry, the right side. And that's it, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I gave up, I dug up a hole.